So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today I am not going to talk about Power BI, I'm actually going to talk about Google and Google services. The reason for this is I made a video last week on how to measure distance between two points using Google Distance Matrix service. And for that, an API key was needed. I posted actually a video from another YouTuber on how to do that, but you have a lot of questions. So I think it's better that I do my own because I will be doing more Power BI videos with Google services. So why not have discovered two already? So for today's video, I will show you how to get an API key for Google services. And on Wednesday, I will show you how to call a service. We will do the distance between two points as an example, and I will do it step by step. So I make sure you all follow along. So part one for today, you will be get the API key on Wednesday. We will do a demonstration actually how to call a Google service with an API key. Okay. So without any more delay, let's begin. Okay, so first things first, go into Google and Google, <coughs> you have to Google Google API console and it will take you here, Google Cloud Platform. So you click on there and this will open. You have to be logged in into Google, okay? Make sure you are. If you are not, if you, I'm, I'm probably, you should. I'm quite sure you already are um, logged in, but check it out if you see yourself in there. Otherwise, you need a Gmail account and then just you just log in. So when you just you log in, uh, you will see this uh, dashboard. And what what you see here is a list of uh, projects I have. To create a new project, just click here, create project, and we're going to call it Google. Power BI distance. Okay, great. So it will take a few seconds to for Google to set up the project. Be patient, okay? So you won't show up. It will take like now. Now it's ready. Like thirty seconds a minute. Okay. So this is our project. Google Power BI distance. Now, to get the key, go in here and API manager. Okay. You will jump to the library directly. Here you have to choose the project that we just created, which is the Google Power BI distance. And on the dashboard, Nothing will appear because we haven't activated anything yet. We will go back there in a second. Library, here's where you activate the service that you want to use. We want to use Google Maps Distance Matrix API. <clears throat> Excuse me. Click Enable. And we now enable the service. As you see, it jump into the dashboard and here you will see the consumption of the service. Okay. Some of these services uh, need, um, uh, they are not free. You, you need to set up a billion account. So if you need to do that, Google will uh, guide you through the process. Nothing strange there. So now so to use this API, you need credentials. We go back to credentials create credentials and for the video that I will show you tomorrow, you need an API key. Okay. And the video that I've done with Google Maps geocoding, you needed an API key. So you do exactly the same. You go here, API key, and then here it is. But here we have the key <coughs> and this is it. You don't need to do anything more. Perhaps again, if the, uh, service that you are calling if it's paid google will ask you you need to enable billing and you just put your credentials and your credit card details and that's it okay this is all you need so 
I have done a video on how to get latitude and longitude using Google Maps geocoding. So if you want to have both with the same API key, you just go here again, Google Maps geocoding, <coughs> and then you activate it. And it will use the same API key. So now you can call both services using this key. Okay. So it's very, very simple. So on Wednesday, I will show you how to call this API using the key we just made. Okay. So this is all for today. Okay, so this is all for today. If you liked the video, let me know by liking it or by sharing it. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions as usual, just let me know on the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. Subscribe, I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday around 2 o'clock Stockholm time. And uh, make sure you hit the bell if you want to receive notifications on new videos. Have a great day. Bye.